I've moved. Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you haven't seen the title of the video already, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some changes in my life and doing a bit of drawing in the video as well. So first things first, obviously I, I've moved. I said that right at the beginning of the video. I'm no longer in my one bedroom apartment that I was in. I was sharing my bedroom with my desk. <laughs> so I was doing my art in my bedroom, which wasn't ideal. It was a little cramped and there was carpet on the floor. And of course, if I'm painting, you really don't want to spill acrylic paint on carpet. That would be a nightmare to try and get out. And also with the space and me having my cat there, it, it was just a lot. Anyways, now that I've moved, I have this whole room to be my art room, which means that I don't have to have the cat in here. The door is closed. The other people who live in the house know when I'm in here, they won't interrupt or anything. No cats will interrupt. I can display my sculptures and my paintings for the first time, which is awesome because they've been hidden away or stored so that they didn't get damaged from the cat or me moving. Now that I'm done university, I shouldn't have to move around anymore. Um, yeah. So that's kind of about the space. I'll give you a little tour. It's pretty straightforward. There's some shelving on the side, which has all of my nursing textbooks. There is shelving behind me, which has my art projects and my construction projects. I have my table, which has some stuff on it that I need to put away. And then I have my guitars and some art books and extra canvases in the closet. Also on top of this room being nice and big to hold all of my stuff, the light coming in from this window is natural light, which means it looks fantastic for filming in my opinion. So bonus there. Um, another exciting news, uh, I got a second cat. His name is Sushi. He's really cute. Um, we got him from the pound. So he's another stray cat, like my first cat Smudge. So adopt, don't shop. And maybe when the two cats get along, I can have him in a video. But I'll put a picture up on screen. Uh, cat tax, you know. And so I've moved. I got a second cat and I'm starting my job next week. So those are all the big things in my life that have happened recently. Everything is changing, which is kind of overwhelming and crazy, but they're all good changes. And I'm excited for what the future holds for me in that sense. So without further ado, I'm going to start some drawing and I will talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so for this piece, because I said adopt don't shop so many times while trying to film the main part of this video. I couldn't get the saying out of my head, so I needed to draw it. I figured it would kind of make a cute sticker, I think. So I went ahead, tried to doodle out a little font and then some animals to just go in and around the letters. I end up doing freehand for the adopt don't, and then I just couldn't get shop to look proper or the way that I wanted it to. So I ended up just using one of the fonts in the app. This is Procreate, by the way. This is me testing out the new app on my new ipod and i really like the way that it works i got i'm still getting used to it this was me like playing with a bunch of the different pens and whatnot so so far i really like it and i love that it takes a time lapse for you like how cool so anyways this is the time lapse taken directly from the app which is makes my life so much easier now this was just supposed to be some sketching and playing with the app and then it turned into a full-blown piece this took me significantly longer than i thought it was going to which is part of the reason why this video is so late on Monday. It is my first day of work today. I filmed the rest of this last week. So this week, it is my first day of work. I work 12 hour shifts. So posting this when I get home and because this piece took me much longer, I didn't have it done in time. But next week, we should have the video closer to the actual upload time. Anyways, um, I don't have a whole lot more to say about this. I chose colors from a color palette that was already in the app for me. It was like a kind of pastel rainbow. And then I added some extra colors for some shading and highlights. Those doodles at the bottom of the different toys and accessories for the pets, I don't end up adding in anywhere. 
I just didn't want it to be super cluttered and overwhelming. I actually do end up getting rid of the ball next to the dog, just because I figured if I wasn't gonna add any other toys in, I probably shouldn't add that one in and I didn't wanna make it too lopsided. I keep changing the background color because I couldn't figure out um, what I had done to erase it. And then I added a fun background. And then this is the final piece here. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, post new videos every Monday. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you all next week.